They are calling this a reward. If you live in the state of New South Wales, NSW, they're in Australia. What is the reward? Getting to go outside your home for one extra hour a day, but only if you're fully jabbed. We're gonna get into all the details, guys. First, really quick, do me a huge favor, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The tyranny across Australia continues. We've talked about it here for a number of weeks. We're going to continue to talk about it because this is a serious issue, a serious matter. As the world is spinning out of control, we are on the brink of a new world order, of an antichrist rising up. So you have these dictators in Australia. Let, let's focus on the state of New South Wales because that is where Premier Gladys made the announcement that, they, and they teased it too, there is a big reward coming on September 13th for those in NSW who are fully jabbed. And that reward is now that yes, you will be allowed one extra hour outside your home every day for exercise, recreation, but only for families, for people who are fully jabbed. Now, right now, the nice government there, they allow people only one hour outside their home as it is. But this reward now gives them an extra hour. So they'll now have two full hours, if they're fully jabbed, to go outside to enjoy some recreation. But if you're not fully jabbed, no, no, you still have to abide by the same lockdown order. See, the policy there in Australia to battle the Rona is, well, no corona. No, not, not at all. I mean, you cannot have it. They want zero cases. They want zero everything. And the best way that they feel to do that is by acting as a tyrannical government. And so what else will this reward bring? Well, if you're in areas where you're not in the hot spots, the so-called hot spots, which, which you know, would, according to Australia, would be like four cases, you'll be able to have a, a picnic outside with up to, ready for it, five people, five people during your allotted time to be outside. Now, let's not you know, forget that there's also a curfew in place there in New South Wales. You're not allowed outside at all between the hours of 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. No, you are banned. If you even try to do that, well, you could be arrested because you would be in violation of the health orders. <laughs> but then how they reported this in the Sydney news was just comical to me. I'm going to talk about that in a second, guys. Really quick, if you could, if you guys could make a generous donation here to our ministry, we would greatly appreciate that. We're demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support us. You guys can help us out in a major way through PayPal or Patreon. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, it gets you bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos there to make sure you get the alerts for all the new content that arrives. I mean, it's not gonna happen all the time with YouTube. You're not, you guys aren't gonna know when my videos are out. So it's a great way uh, to help us out there and to make sure you get alerted with everything. Plus there you can comment on the video censorship free and avoid YouTube blocking and hiding what you're saying because it's happening more and more. Also, big reminder, go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check us out. All those links are down below. Thank you again for everybody who is contributing to the ministry, and for those of you thinking about doing so, God bless you for that. You guys are great. So, Sydney, the way that they reported this, and I'll put the link below. You can watch a little news clip of this. They don't have any pushback at all. They're all sold out. They talk about the Premier Gladys and how, you know, oh, she's a, she's allowing Australians to have the more freedom here and uh, to be able to go outside their homes there for an extra hour only if they're fully jabbed and only if they comply, only if they're in areas with low, no, low number of cases. It's okay for them to go outside there. There's no pushback. <laughs> Nothing. A once free country is no more. And you're not allowed to protest it because you go to jail. Okay. They'll lock you up for that. They're sending the military door to door in certain states across Australia to enforce the quarantines. They just announced that they're going to be building a quarantine camp in another area. If you missed that video I did, you guys can go back and look it up. I just did it the other day. And so now we have this. And, and, and they're hinting at even more rewards to come for you fully jabbed. So 
So don't worry, your extra hour outside your house every day, you know, there's more coming. There was even a hint that maybe if you're really good and obedient, that come October, you might be allowed to have a haircut. I mean, wow, and thank goodness for the NSW government letting you guys have a little bit more freedom back. You know, thank God for them. They're truly amazing. <laughs> we're marching towards Bible prophecy. I mean, we're here. It's unfolding now. It's a matter of time before you see the global leader who will be the Antichrist rise to power and all nations and countries will submit unto him and him alone. We're on the way. This is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days. Jesus is coming back soon. But do you know him as your Lord and Savior? You, you need to have that relationship with him. You need to be saved in order to have eternity with the Lord. And you can do this prayer in your own words. I'll give you the steps you need in order to bring that prayer before the Lord. The first thing you need to do is acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now, that is something that we all are. What did God do? He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you need to do, though, is that you need to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray that you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. Again, you can check out the clip of the Sydney News team talking about this. It's crazy. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.